All right. Um, let me give you a whiteboard of whiteboards, the presentation that you've all been waiting for. I'd like to explain how we got here. And by the way, you could call this an opinion, but it's also just true. I'll make sure you can both see this. Don't worry. All right. So I've got two cameras, so you're not all going to see it as easily, but uh, I'll put the photo online. It's already oh, it's already on my Twitter feed. So here's the idea. Uh, how fake news destroyed the planet. At the moment, we're telling ourselves, oh, these, these people are bad, or these people are bad, and you know, they're forces and the government's not doing enough. And, you know, why is Black Lives Matter supporting the bad guys and you know, all this stuff? I think that's all a diversion. There is one source of the problem that is destroying the planet. There's just one. It's fake news. Just fake news. Now, remember, the fake news people are also the people who built the we're, we're looking for disinformation. So the fake news and the fact checkers are the same people. That's a real dangerous situation. (laughs) It's the ultimate dangerous situation. And outside of the 1% of people who pay attention, 99% of the public doesn't know that the news is fake. They actually don't know. Now, when I say that, most people think, I know what you're saying, Scott. You're saying the MSNBC is fake. But, you know, the the ones on the right are all real. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. The news is fake, right? It's it's different kinds of fakes in different places, but it's not real news. All right. So the fake news uh, told us of President Trump, uh, that he was colluding with Russia, which would make him a traitor, that he said uh, that uh, neo-Nazis were fine people, which he never said. He said the opposite. That would make him a racist. And uh, he said you should drink bleach to get rid of your COVID. He never said that. That was also a hoax. But if he had, it would have been stupid. So the fake news told the public every fucking day that there was Russian collusion, find people hoax, drink bleach. You got a traitor, a racist, super guy. And if you ever elected him, it would be the end of the world. So instead, they gave us Biden. And then Biden gave us the Ukraine war, the Israel war and open borders, which is the end of the United States. This is actually the end of the world. If if we kept going in this direction, it is not survivable. I just want to say that as clearly as possible. We, We have a system at the moment that is not survivable. This is an existential threat. The fake news has reached not just annoying levels, not just influential. It is now our biggest existential risk. It will determine where we put our limited money. It will determine if we spend ourselves into debt forever. It will keep the worst people in office. It will keep the best people out of office. It will make uh, countries fight each other for the wrong reasons. It will make the, the nation itself turn against each other for reasons that didn't have to happen at all. They will give you CRT, ESG, and DEI. And these guys will tell you those are good ideas. And they will absolutely destroy the planet. So every time somebody tells you the problem is something else that's not fake news, they're wrong. Everything flowed from that. You can't think of anything that you would identify as a problem that did not flow directly, directly, not indirectly, but directly from fake news. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the filter that you need to understand more than any other. <laughs>